Good morning. It is six o'clock and here's my first cup of coffee and I actually did change it at this time. I put a little bit of this vanilla unsweetened almond milk in there. I put a couple of drops of stevia and then this right here is the creamer that Indigo Neely posted on her channel a few years back. Um, I ran out of half and half so I thought today I might actually attempt to do Trim Healthy Mama without any dairy. I don't know, just seemed like a fun challenge and we're trying to mix it up to get to the end of the month here. Okay, it's almost 7.30. I'm gonna have a second cup of coffee, again with the unsweetened almond milk and with Neely's creamer and a couple of drops of stevia. And then I've made myself sort of an egg scramble here. I've got some zucchini, red bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, and eggs. And then I sprinkled on top some nutritional yeast, which clearly I got all over the counter. And this is gonna be breakfast. Also, um, this is three eggs scrambled up. So yeah, hooray food. All right, 1220. And since we are still going with the dairy-free theme today, I have a Joseph's Flax Oat Bran and Whole Wheat Pita Bread. And these are dairy-free. So there's that. And then in here I have peanut junky butter, which is dairy-free, and slim belly jelly dairy-free, some colorful peppers, obviously dairy-free, and then this is the Trim Quick recipe from Trim Healthy Mama Cookbook, but instead of using whey protein, I used the collagen whenever I mixed it up, so this does not have the whey in it, and I know that um, Pearl and Serene suggest that mamas with dairy sensitivities can typically handle the whey isolate, but I decided to just like really commit to this whole dairy-free thing for today, only today. Um, and in here I've got that trim quick and then I've got some of this almond milk that is unsweetened and it's vanilla just to enhance that. And then over here I have a cup of oolong tea and I've been drinking water but my bottle is over by the couch. So this will be lunch. All right y'all, it is like 1.50ish. And um, everybody is at quiet time. We finished all of our lessons. Wow, I had you real close. And I am um, just still finishing on that um, cup of oolong tea that I had with my lunch. It's like two thirds of the way done <laughs> and it's ice cold now. And I have been trying out new skincare and so it's causing a lot of breakouts and like a lot of like issues and whatnot and I think that the jojoba oil is not working well with my skin so I'm gonna have to change it up again anyway it's quite overcast today but it's still pretty bright and it's almost 60 degrees here which is insane and originally I didn't think we were gonna see our yard for at least another month and we actually have quite a large patch of like not grass, but like fallen leaves from the fall time that we never raked up. So you see out here, that's actually a pretty good sized pa oh, patch of land. And then right here, we actually have all this as grass. That's amazing. We still have piles of snow and I know that the snow will be there for a long time in our woods, but we might actually have it be completely snow free like i don't know in the next few weeks i was convinced that we weren't gonna see the grass until like july honestly <laughs> seemed like the never-ending winter i'm thinking that i want to do an e-meal for dinner perhaps some sweet potatoes and baked chicken and some broccoli maybe that's what my intention is for dinner tonight i'm gonna go finish this tea Alrighty, 5 40 my kitchen is a wreck from making more lavash chips over here and this is the pan we had um, cooked dinner on and clearly we had a problem with those lavash chips. Anywho, so this is my plate for tonight. This is a piece of a chicken breast and I sprayed that lightly with olive oil spray and I sprinkled on some of this roasted garlic and herb seasoning. This has no sugar in it so that's a plus and I'm sure that natural flavoring is bad for us but it tastes really good and my mom turned us on to this from Sam's Club. So anyway, I just took part of a chicken breast because they were massive. I mean like 
size of my palm like spread out. So I roasted though the chicken breasts and I roasted up these um, sweet potatoes with just a little light spray of olive oil and a sprinkling of salt. And then this broccoli is one of these steamer bags of broccoli and I'm actually going to add just a little bit of that seasoning to it. And I've got a tumbler of water over here that I've been working on. And we're gonna have some yummy dinner tonight. I also wanted to add this would be considered an e-meal because of the sweet potatoes and the fact that I used very little oil. All right, 819 and this is a, another cup of hot tea. This is an oolong tea and oolong is my favorite tea. Um, and then I've got just a little quarter cup sized container full of some skinny chocolate in the shape of Lego bricks because when you have the ability to make Lego brick chocolate, you always should make Lego brick chocolate. So the nice thing about skinny chocolate is it is also dairy free. And you know what's funny is that I just decided this morning as I was making my first cup of coffee that maybe today we'll go dairy free just for the sake of trying out dairy free. And I have gained tremendous respect for dairy free mamas because after having eaten a lot of dairy for my entire life, I recognize just how much I am reliant on the dairy. <laughs> um, I eat a lot of pepper jack cheese. And I know Pearl and Serene suggest that um, whey protein isolate is not a problem for many dairy-free mamas, but I decided that I was just gonna like cut it down. and. Um, and just like go all dairy free just for the day just to see if I could do it honestly um, so it was like a little personal challenge and I feel pretty good about that um, my trim quick I use collagen in that instead of the whey protein and in um, in Neely's creamer recipe that she has a YouTube video on um, that's what I used for creamer this morning in my coffee and she has um, optional whey protein in the recipe but it is optional and so I chose not to put that in there just to keep it dairy free I guess actually last night when I was making that I was just thinking I don't want to drag out the whey protein too I was going for a one arm load out of the pantry and a one arm load back to the pantry and adding in the whey protein container was just gonna be more than one one trip <laughs> Isn't that funny how like our determining factors for things are how much lazier can we be? If I could be lazier, I will go with that. Um, anyway, <laughs> I am really tired. I was putting the girls to bed tonight and I was laying down on Molly's bed, which was probably not the wisest decision. And I was like, um, I'm going to just pray with y'all right here on the, on the bed because <laughs> normally I'm sitting up, but instead of laying down and man I could have fallen asleep right then um yeah anyway that's about all that I have for today I'm gonna eat this skinny chocolate and this time I did just make straight up skinny chocolate and I gotta be honest I like our Jared approved chocolate better but I just I'm so inconsistent with it that I can't um, put together like a true recipe on it and I'm such a just like throw ingredients into a container and see if they turn out and if they don't then adjust them a little bit more and you know sort of like workshop whatever recipe it is and and yeah it makes for really inconsistent results <laughs> so that's tricky um, anywho, Claire and Michelle, Claire over at Cookie Crumb Fun and Michelle over at Encouraging Mamas, they are doing this all in April THM challenge and Claire's the one that's actually hosting it. Michelle's just participating like I am and I really hope that you'll go check out their videos for today if they've got, I don't know if they've got one up today yet. I'm sure they will though if they haven't already. <laughs> so. Go check out their channels. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.